throughout Earth's long and diverse history, life has continuously evolved in remarkable ways, adapting to a myriad of environments and challenges. Among the most fascinating aspects of this evolutionary journey are the unique adaptations that ancient animals developed to survive and thrive. These adaptations, often surprising and sometimes bizarre, reveal the incredible ingenuity of nature. In this video, we explore five unusual adaptations exhibited by ancient animals. By examining these adaptations, we gain insights not only into the lives of these long extinct creatures, but also into the broader mechanisms of evolution that continue to shape the natural history of the world today. From the massive tusks of ancient guinea pigs to a cold-blooded goat, these adaptations highlight the endless creativity of life in its relentless quest for survival. First off, we have the dolphin that thought it was a swordfish. Scores of strange creatures appear and disappear every time the oceans warm and cool. Among the weirdest of these animals was a dolphin that attacked prey with a sword-like nose, just like a swordfish does. The longest snouted mammal of all time, Zarakis flagellator, arrived at the evolutionary party around 20 million years ago, during the Neogene period. This creature sported a schnoz five times longer than its skull. This Pinocchio nose of a snout was more than one meter long, and it swept through the water as a Z flagellator searched for prey. Once it locked onto its unfortunate meal, Z flagellator clubbed its victim silly with its weaponized snout. Scientists know this after studying the structure of the snout to estimate the forces it could withstand. Researchers also compared Z flagellator's physiology to similar prehistoric dolphins, as well as modern marlins. The climate would eventually snuff out Z flagellator around the beginning of the Pliocene epoch. A brutal glaciation period altered the creature's habitat and food supply, wiping out the long snouts by around 2.5 million years ago. Next up is the 1,000 kilogram guinea pig that stabbed enemies with its massive tusks. Three million years ago, prehistoric rodents packed some serious muscle. The Uruguayan Joseph Ortegasia Monesi was the mightiest, with a hulking 1,000 kilogram body that could stand shoulder to shoulder with a bull. Of all the rodents distinctive features, oversized front teeth are the most obvious. The maxed out guinea pig J. Monesi was the king among beasts in dental regards as well with 30 centimeter incisors that resembled tusks more than rodent teeth. Just seeing these teeth wasn't enough for scientists who wanted to know how they handled. Using CT scans virtual reconstructions and computer simulations, researchers recreated J. Manessi's bite and found it was capable of delivering a bite about as strong as a tiger's, even though J. Manessi's chompers could bear forces three times as great. That's probably because it did more than bite. J. Manessi probably used its tusk-like incisors to gore anything that ticked it off. The creature also uses teeth to root about in the ground and dig up hidden foodstuffs like an elephant would. Overall, very impressive for the cousin of a guinea pig. Once upon a time in prehistoric Europe, there lived a ferocious bear. This bear, however, seems to have been a vegetarian. The European cave bear, so called for its fondness of caves, weighed up to 500 kilograms and rivaled the largest living bears today. But unlike our modern omnivorous picnic snatching bears, 
This ancient variant was exclusively herbivorous. These bears roamed Europe and Asia from 300,000 to 25,000 years ago, dying out at around the glass glacial maximum. Even though its environment was dry and cold, Ursus spellius managed to forage for enough vegetation to support its large 3.5 meter long frame on salad. How do scientists know? They analyzed the bones, some which date back to nearly 50,000 years ago, of six bears discovered at three cave sites in Romania. Scientists zoomed in on the fossilized collagen within the skeletal remains and compared it to the bone collagen from carnivores, herbivores and cave bears from other parts of Europe. Based on the ratio of different types of nitrogen in the amino acids within the collagen, researchers concluded that the cave bear was a strict vegetarian. Fossils sometimes sit in museums for many years before they're properly described. Two such fossils sat on a shelf for 20 years before recently revealing that anchovies weren't always the little chumps they are today. While modern anchovies eat plankton and grow to about 15 centimeters long, the prehistoric Monosmilus chorloides was about one meter long and ate other fish. It also had a sabre tooth, as in a single sabre tooth poking out from its upper jaw to complement a row of sharp fangs on its lower jaw. That's right, M. Chorloides was a predatory anchovy that impaled its prey. The 45 million year old M. Chorloides hails from the Paleogene, when a surprising number of fish transformed into rootless killers. The niche for ferocious fishes opened up when the larger sea terrors were killed off by the dinosaur obliterating asteroid 66 million years ago. Like its brethren species, the ancient anchovy from the Eocene Epoch evolved into a beast to fill the niche and feast on lesser fishes. Last but not least, we have a mammal that defies logic. Myotragus balearicus, a 46 cm tall dwarf goat from the Balearic Islands, survived millions of years by adopting a strategy from the reptilian evolutionary playbook, cold-bloodedness. Its ancient goat bones stunned scientists, who had never expected to find the tree-like growth rings within. Since warm-blooded creatures are continually building their bones, they don't exhibit this skeletal quirk. But cold-blooded animals grow their bones in spurts when resources allow. Those resources didn't allow much wiggle room on the barren, unfruitful island of Majorca. So, the Balearic goat became smaller and borrowed some reptilian biology. Now it could laze around in the sun all day and not constantly worry about food. However, its reduced size and metabolic rate came with a drawback. M. Balearicus couldn't fight or even effectively run away from its predators. Luckily for this goat, it didn't have any predators on the little island. So this puny, defenseless, non-athletic goat enjoyed its Mediterranean paradise for 5.2 million years. That's twice the average reign of a mammal species. M. Balearicus was eventually killed off 3,000 years ago when humans arrived. The ancient world was a crucible of innovation, where life forms evolved extraordinary adaptations to navigate the diverse and often harsh environments they inhabited. The animals covered exemplify the ingenuity of nature's evolutionary processes. Each adaptation was a testament to the relentless drive for survival, allowing these creatures to thrive in their respective niches. In a broader sense, these unique animals challenge us to consider the future of biodiversity in the face of rapidly changing environments. The story of these ancient animals serve as a powerful reminder of the ongoing narrative 
of life on our planet. A story that continues to unfold with every discovery. As we look back at these creatures and the ingenuity that produced them, we should be inspired to preserve the natural world and its myriad life forms, ensuring that the story of life continues for generations to come. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.